Hi Angels, welcome back to another tutorial and today well, this is going to be the last um, tutorial in this HTML CSS crash course and I'm really 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 excited to you know do this with you. Today we're going to be working on a simple navbar. This is going to help us to tie in all the knowledge we have learned so far so that you understand CSS better. It's a very very simple now, but this is what we're going to be working on. Um, I got this inspiration from this, from this, and I just wanted so instead of the, of course we don't have any logo, so I just kept logo here, 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 here. Then we have, can see there's a background color when you hover, it changes. Um, when it becomes smaller, then. This disappears, you know. So yeah, this is a very very simple project, and I'm hoping that you will enjoy it. So let's get into this. To start the navbar, I've created this very I've created a blank HTML document, and I'm just going to start by putting uh, nav and. With nav, I'm just um, for the logo. I'm just going to put H1. I'm not bringing an image just to make it very simple. Of, and I'm just going to put logo in it. Then under it, I'm going to put an unordered list, an unordered list. Then I. First one was um, first. <laughs> okay, so let's just instead of first thing, second week, like it's written there. We're just going to say home services. And then we'll put about. Okay, let's see what that looks like so far. Okay, that's that. Um, Okay, oh, I was wondering where it's equals to I just saw it here. Okay, yeah. Okay, um, now the first thing I would like to do is for this now bar, I want to give it a display flex property. That's what I want to do. So in you know, CSS, so I'll just call this ID. CSS. And, uh, sorry. Then <laughs> I say display. Display flex. And so now it's beside each other. And I also want to give display flex to this UL. So I'll just call this ID. So I'll say. Mm, what is a company list or something? Company list. Save back to this. Company list display flex to. So that's a display flex. Um, if you look at it, you see that this is on this side and this is on this side. So what I will do for that is. I would give this a justify content space between. So this would have a justify content space between. Save and there we go. So now we have the logo here and this here. And the tr beautiful thing about this is that it's very responsive. So no matter how it shrinks, you know, this works. Then I'm going to give a padding on. Let me, let me give the entire number a, a background color. So let's, let me use this just so that we can 
thing that I didn't close happened. Oh, sorry, I didn't close that. I can call this. Okay, so now we can see what's happening clearly. So now I'm going to align item center so that both of them are in the center because this doesn't seem like it's in the center with this. So that's see that works. Now I want to give it the padding on the left and on the right. So padding. I don't need anything on the top and bottom. And I'm just going to see uh, left and right, let's say 30 pixels. Okay, that works. Let's let me make this increase it a bit. Let's say that. So we have that. And now I want to give this more of a width i want to expand the width of this so i'm going to give this entire ol i'm going to give this entire ol a, a width so instead of just flexing it you know come back to that so i'm just going to give it a width here i want it to take let's say i want to give it a definite i'll give it a definite um, one. There's a reason I'm doing this. So let us say 300 pixels. Yeah. So I'm going to give it the background color temporarily. So I'm just going to say aqua as usual. So now we see that this is what it's occupying. Then I will say justify content space between so that it spreads out. So now you can see home is here, service is here, about case. See, oh, I'll go back here. Good. That is not. If you look at this, you will see that um, the list styles are there, which are these disks there. What I want to do is, I want to remove them. I want to remove the, I want to remove those disks. So, I'm going to come here. What's this? So now we have this custom list, then the li. So what I'll do is I'll copy this. I put this, then I'll say li here. Remember, this is if you put a space between, if you put a space here, like between this and this, this we are using the descender selector. So it means that any li that is a descender of copy company list would be affected. So I'm going to do a list style and I'm going to say no. Um, wait, no, no, no. Yeah, no. So none. Save that. Refresh. We have none. Uh, another thing I want to do to the LI is that I want to increase the font size. So font size, I'll say 30 pixels. But that looks, no, that's huge. <laughs> Let's say 25 pixels. And that's too big. Let's say 18. Save. Huh? Let's say 20. Let's see. That's the right thing to me. It's cool. Okay, yeah, more like it. And then I'm just going to remove this. I don't need it any longer. And let me give it more, then increase the padding here to 40, it's just uh, 50. <laughs> I think 50 will be much better. Huh, okay, that's more like it. Now, what I would like to happen is when you, when I hover over this, I want it to have a pointer. Same thing with this and this and this. I want it to have a pointer. So what I will do is on the H1 and then the UL eyes, I'm going to give it a pointer. So what I'll just do is, um, okay, so I'll just say company list. 
then h1 or let's say um, cursor or pointer and same thing for this let's say pointer so save so now what's that company list oh sorry now bar instead of company list my bad so that's not by H1. So let me take this here. Okay, so pointer, 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 pointer. What I also want to do is when you hover over this, I want it the color to change from black to white. That's what I want to do. I want it to come change from black to white so that you know that you are hovering over it. So what I'll just do is I'll just copy these, then paste hover, pseudo code hover, then I'll say color should be let's say white. Fresh white here, yeah, so that's a visual indicator. So now I want to make it a bit responsive. What I want to do is that when the screen becomes really small, I want it to instead of it being at the top, I want it to come like like a side bar kind of thing. So when the screen is really small, when it's really, really small, I know this is the clip last we could do it. So instead of it being here, I want it to stack on each other. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. So it brings us to media query. Yeah. Now, what I would do is at the setting, let me look for the length I want it to be. So when it gets to, let's say 500, 500, let's say 500, 500 looks good. So once it gets to 500, that's when it is to stack. So I'll just leave that for now. Come back here. I'll say at media and I'll say max width 500 pixels. I want these 500 pixels. I would change the now bus flex direction to colon. So I'll just copy that. So here I want to say flex direction colon. So if we refresh and i come here so if i do like that 500 you see it's now stacked on each other now you can see that when you stacked on each other this is well, i still having that justify um justify what's it called justify content space between so I will change that to so I'm just going to change that justify content then I'll just say flex start so now what has happened Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's not. Oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. Um, just if I can then I also do align items. Then that would be flex start to yeah. So okay, yeah, that's what I was referring to. So now it's like this. Now, 
um, what I also like to do is that I want this list to stack on each other too and what I'll do is I'll just take this company list and then put flex direction colon two and save so now they're stacked on each other but there is a padding here and we have to remove that padding and then I would say padding left zero yeah next thing I also want to do is I want to space them I want to space them I just want to space them out I want to space them out So for the so which is this L I I'll just say for each L I I want the not to give it a padding so padding top and bottom should be ten pixels let's just say ten pixels and don't we don't need anything for the left and right then let's just give it a little bit of margin let's just say by pixel zero to let's see how that looks like okay that that's more like it so that's how we create a very simple navbar that is kind of responsive usually there will be like a hamburger button here and this will be hidden when you make it smaller there'll be a hamburger button here that would reveal this but i wouldn't want to do that for this particular tutorial because I'm trying to make things as simple as possible just to tie what we've been learning together uh, what you could now do is if you want this not to show when it's small you just come back down here and say display none and see now it's no longer show you when you come when you do like this it shows when you get here when it gets here um, so when it gets here it's not showing here it's showing and yeah that's it that's just a simple enough but uh, you've been able to learn background color hope, like you can hover over things and it changes and yeah and we learned a bit of media query here so that's it so i hope you enjoyed this little this is a very 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 simple project but i'm hoping that this has made you understand css better than what um, i've been showing you before so if you watched all the videos so far and you are here thank you so much thank you thank you thank you so much for being with me through this entire course i was really hoping that this crash this course would be maybe um span five tutorials just five tutorials but wow it's really taking this long and i'm thankful so i'm really grateful for anybody that's watched this so far thank you so much if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like this and if you also if you are not subscribed yet please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you bye